writes in, Patrick and Robert, I'm a little confused on the relevance of refresh rates on HDTVs. Various models boast 60 hertz, 120 hertz and higher, but I don't understand the point. If a Blu-ray movie uses 24 frames per second, it seems that the picture on the screen only changes 24 times per second. So why do HDTVs need to refresh the picture 60 or 120 times per second? And how do higher refresh rates actually improve the video of a 24 frames per second movie? Thanks, Matt in Ohio. I will interject one thing. Do it. As much as we love the Blu-ray movies, Blu-ray players are not the only sources of videos going into the, or, or video period going into the back of your television. There's no. also set-top boxes, there's cable boxes, and these all move from sources that were recorded at different rates. Totally, totally. And this is really the, the, the crux of the question. It's what is refresh rate, what is frame rate, and how do those two interact? The refresh rate refers to the display itself. Could be a TV screen, could be a projection screen, could be whatever. The, the thing you're looking at Basically is... Basically, the lines are redrawn on the sets. How, how quickly you know, that top display to bottom, is left updated. to right, 60, 120, or 240, or 480. Totally. Hertz. Now, the frame rate usually typically refers to the capture rate of, say, the recording device, like a film camera, 24 frames per That's second. Nice. You mentioned Blu-ray movies. Most of the movie, most of the cinema we've ever experienced in our lives was recorded at 24 frames per second. As the film goes through it, 24 frames per second are captured, or digitally at 24 frames per second. That's, that's the frame rate. Now, if you actually watched that content at 24 frames per second, you would experience something that is so flicker-laden, the artifacts would just drive you crazy. You would just see like pulsing. Mess. It would just be like You would see it literally flickering like mad, and you can't do that. So. What? You're basically saying that movie theater projectors don't project at 24 frames per second. Oh no, it would drive everyone batty and leave the screen. <laughs> they can't leave the movie theater, so what they do is a cool trick. Uh, even with film projectors, they actually hold that frame, that frame of film still, and flash it twice, or three times in some cases. So they have like a gate or that whirling shutter that goes Totally, in front of and that. this helps eliminate that pulsing, that flicker artifact. Yeah. And if they didn't, like I said, it would just be like, I, I cannot view this. Now, when you talk about TV screens, we typically here in the U.S. run our displays at 60 hertz for televisions. That's where it all kind of started. There's a lot of reasoning behind that. NTSC, 60 frames per second, which but is But it's not a good match for 24. It's not, an, it's not an even multiple of 24, mm -hmm. and that's where we get an artifact can occur, whereas uh, because we're trying to shove a square peg into a round hole with the, with the, the contents... Uh, frame rate versus going, the refresh rate of the display. Movies going to 60 hertz, it's like two and a half times 24 frames per second. So you get stuff like three, two pull down in an attempt to compensate. Totally. Right. To, to make it fit, you have to do some crazy mix up like that to make it work. And it does take away some of the uh, the cinema quality of how the how the look of the video experience is. So with the advent of 120 hertz TVs and even plasma TVs that will run at say 72 hertz or 96 hertz, I think some might even run at 120 hertz now. But those are all even multiples of 24. Ooh. So it allows you then to flash the picture multiple times, but still keep that cadence right that looks like something you would have experienced in the theater while eliminating flicker. And it's, it's really to eliminate flicker. That's the big deal. You can't look at 24 frame per second material in its native format. Otherwise, <laughs> it's just, it's painful. It's painful on the eyes. So that's Good that. Enough. Now, with broadcast material over the air, even if the movie was recorded originally, say you're watching your favorite movie on TV as delivered by your cable provider, you know, it was originally recorded at 24 frames per second, it might be being broadcast to you at 60 hertz or 60 frames per second uh, through the magic of like 3-2 pull down and other ways of manipulating the video stream, and then hopefully it's being recreated on your display properly as well, but there are other issues that can get in there to kind of screw it all up. That's really what I love about Blu-ray. You can, you can take an original 24p <laughs> material, deliver it to a display that's 24p compatible with refresh rates that are multiples of it to deliver a flicker-free experience yet still maintain that cinema look. And that's, that's really what it's all about. And as I mentioned before, there are, there are other sources. I mean, most television, especially sports, is, is now being shot in 1080p, which is going to be 60 frames per second. It's nice. There's what a lot of video game consoles. Because like on, on PCs, like video game refresh rate, like all the pro gamers, they want the highest refresh rate. They want to match the refresh rate for the highest performance of their monitor. PCs are flexible video devices in terms of output formats. Mm -hmm. you, can, you can have a PC output at 60 hertz or 72 hertz. It's really up to the display that you're using. It's performance kit character. Characteristics. I remember some CRTs that could run back in the day at 120 hertz, and the gamers would say, oh, if my computer is fast enough and I can feed it 120 frames per second, showing it at 120 hertz is a really nice matchup that gives you just 
epic liquid performance in terms of motion characteristics right. and stuff. Game consoles are fixed to the standards of our display systems, typically 60, 60 hertz devices. So 60 hertz output here in the US. Other countries that use a 50 hertz system, it would be 50 hertz output in those countries. And it's, uh, that's just designed mostly for compatibility at this point. Hopefully that answers the whole movie, television, refresh rate, HDTV thing. Flicker-free viewing experiences, that's the key. <laughs>